Grace and peace. What it do? This your boy Saint. Boy, back to y'all live in effect once again. Hey, today I want to do a review on um, the Five Lights new album. Welcome to Hartsville. Um, I wasn't gonna do no review on it, and then I seen um, the Hip Hop Corner. They did a review with um, I think it was the Fire, No Malice, and Ruslan. And uh, it was kind of funny. You could tell that they don't know who Jafar Life is because they pronounced his name wrong and they really couldn't understand his, his music, which I, I didn't expect them to do a review. So I don't understand why people were asking them or telling them, or asking them to do a review. But I think that's what they were saying in their um, video, man. But it was, it was pretty funny to me because I be telling people all the time that they channel is a um, 116 channel. It's a Rich Rucker channel. Um, but, you know, I like their channel, man. Go subscribe to their channel, man. I watch their channel, man. But you can tell, like, they ne they haven't really been in the Christian hip hop scene that long. But, um, but Jafar Life, he's not considered a Christian rapper, so I can omit that. Like, he, he's an OG in the game. But he bought with this new album, man, Welcome to Hartsville. I think this is his first album since, um, it's like been four years since he dropped the profit. Um, new album, man. I was very excited about it. I'm a big fan of Defire, man. Defire, one of the only artists that have not released the album that I did and enjoy. Now he do got an album that I was like, uh, like I did the little the, the, the how Jay Z did Nas, uh, which was um that Westside Pharmacy. That was the only one that was like, uh. But the rest of them was like bangers. And um, this new album he put out, before he released it, I know he was asking all the fans different opinions. Um, it seemed like he was going to try to do a part two to either Pages of Life or um, uh, his, par um, his Diary. And um, he was asking people different opinions, with, with the, what it should be and... Corey's mind with Pages of Life. I think Pages of Life is his is his best album. It's a classic, his greatest album. So I wanted Pages of Life too. So when you listen to the new album, uh, it only got seven songs on it. I think Pages of Life had like eight, maybe like eight tracks and like seven songs. I think it might have an interlude. But um, um. The new album, Working the Hartsville, only has seven songs on it, so it's kind of put you in a reminiscing of Pages of Life. And then plus the album in it full and it's even sounds, it got that Pages of Life feel to it. You're going to reminisce on the album. you even going to want to go back and play it. I think after I finished playing Hartsville, I went back and listened to Pages of Life because it just put you in that vibe. But um, it's a good album, man. I had pre-ordered it. Um, I had got the first single, man, the um, Before Sunset, and man, this, out of all the singles that he dropped on each album, this probably was my favorite one, and he didn't even release a video for this song, but this song really, like, I played this song over and over and over, so, um, yeah, man, that, I, I loved this song, I was kind of hoping, like, I'm like, man, this can't be the best song, because that, that song is so great, man, like, man, this can't be the best song on the album. But um, when I got the album, it turned out that that wasn't my favorite song. My favorite song on there is St. Jude's Garden. And um, for any of y'all that know who St. Jude is, that's Architect. He did a lot of the beats on um, Pages of Life. So he had like that, that, that same vibe, man, and great storytelling, man. Um, just great album, man. Um, Margaret's. Um, prayer song by his mom. That was a, that's a great song. Um, the what is it? The Hordens. The um, the Noble Hill song. Uh, I I can't think of the name of it. Let me see if I can if I can find it. Um, Hordes Beach. Yeah, yeah. Hordes Beach. That's that's another great one, man. I, that one of my favorite ones too. Um, overall, man, with the seven songs, man. It's a great album. Like I say, it put you back into that that pages of life feel. Uh, the fire gonna bring that 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 life. Um, it's not super Christian. It ain't got a lot of theological terms. It's not. It's it's, it's your same fire, man. Like 
Whatever what you expect from the fire, this is what you're gonna get on this album. You're not gonna get nothing different. It's the same thing, man. Uh, it's that same that same Jafar life, man. But like I said, it puts you in that page of life. So if you love the pages of life, man, you're gonna really like this album here, man. Uh, as far as ratings out of all his albums, I haven't really decided. Um I don't know. I don't know, man, cause I love all his albums, man. It, it's it's not better than Pages of Life, and it's not, and it's not better than um, His Diary. But um, I don't know, man. As far as um, Fountain of Life and um, the Nazareth and the Prophet, I don't even think I like. I don't think I like it more than the Prophet either. But um, I don't know, man. But it's 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 a great album, man. For all y'all Jafar Your Life fans, y'all go and check it out if you have not heard it, man. Go support the man. The man dropped some he dropped some great music, man. He been the most consistent. Um one of the most consistent artists in the game since two thousand. He released his first album in ninety nine, two thousand. And he had not came slacking, man. He's like the most consistent. Him and um SO, SO going into that direction where like everything they dropping is just just bangers, man. So uh, man, that's all I have, man. I just want to do that little quick review, man. Um for the, the real Jafar Life fans, people that know Jafar Life, man. Um uh, y'all, if y'all haven't heard it, y'all go and check it out, man. It's a great album, man. It was good to hear from Jafar again, cause he was talking about leaving the game on uh, retiring, man, but came back for his fans and and gave us, you know what I'm saying, a great, uh, I don't know if you call it an EP, album, or whatever you want to call it. But, um, yeah, man, go and check it out, man. This your boy, Saint Boy, signing out. Peace.